Uh, this is uh, Bill Borum. I'm here at the Sebastiani Theater in Sonoma, where there has been the screening of probably over 100 movies at the Sonoma International Film Festival, which, by the way, was originated by Sister Cities, the local Sister Cities group, 20 years ago. And I'm delighted here, having visited India myself, to talk with the director of the film that we are about to see and look forward to. And I think this is the uh, California premiere, if I recall correctly. So I'm with um, Richie Mehta, who's the director of the film A Day in India. So India in a day, I keep forgetting that, but it'll be a fantastic film. And I think he and his crew had to work through about a thousand um, submittals, click, uh, clips. So let me tell, have him very quickly uh, tell you about what this film is all about. Hi. Um, yes, so it's India in a day, and uh, the film is basically about... Um, I mean, we did a call out to people all over India and asked them to submit footage of their lives on one day, October 10th, 2015. So um, people all, all over the country shot footage of their lives. They gave it to us. We got 16,000 clips um, uh, via Google. And we took all those clips and then we basically curated them, um, um, contextualized them, and edited them into a film called India in a Day, which is basically goes from midnight to midnight, showcases a full day, um, through other people's images and words. Well, I'm sure that this film will have a lot of relevance for people within the country itself. And as you have described in other interviews, uh, so many languages that are spoken in the country and a real diversity of culture. Um, I think, again, having visited India myself, uh, this is a film that could be of interest to Americans. Uh, since India is the largest democracy and there's a great India diaspora in the United States and also, by the way, in Canada, where Richie comes from. So anyway, let me ask Richie this question. What is the relevance of this film for American audiences? I think the relevance for American audiences is... Uh, I mean, at the risk of getting political, on the one hand, um, this film is so much about the idea of community and community at large and not in any way about divided and segregation. In fact, it's about watching people's stories, listening to people's lives, and understanding how much we're all connected, how much we share. Um, and at the same time, India is a country that lives in many ways hundreds of years in the past and in the future at the same time. It's as progressive as any country can be and there are pockets where they really are living the way they've always lived. And so within the borders of that country you're measuring the progress of our species, of humanity over the last several hundred years and into the future. And that applies to everybody. That's not an Indian thing. That's a humanity thing. And so it's not just relevance to Americans. It's, it's very much relevance to Americans. It's relevance to Canadians. And it's relevance to Brits. And it's relevance to, to French. It's relevance to every, everybody. Um, and so I think it's a very, very special experience to have for anybody, especially what, when you're thinking in the context of nationalism. Well, thank you very much, Richie, for uh, bringing this film to this audience here in Sonoma. And I think that it's a great tribute to you and your crew that you have this underlying theme. So uh, best of luck to you, and I look forward to the Q&A. And this is, uh, should be a pretty discerning audience. So again, thanks so much for coming to the festival, which I understand is also sponsored by the Consulate General of India. Thanks so much.